But now the Liberal Party has gone very radical. But you Could you imagine this current mob? No, we can't. They, w they haven't had a vision. No, they really can't. don't. No, they it just... It's insane. But you guys are constantly getting attacked for having no vision. The problem with the Libs is they can tell you what they're against. It's very hard for them to tell you what they're for. Mm. And what this nation needs is not, you know, sure, you've got to test everyone's ideas. But basically the nation is going sideways. I mean, COVID's been very difficult, and uh, so I get that, but we don't have a vision on infrastructure. We don't have a vision on Medicare. They're hacking into the NDIS. They've been in charge of aged care for eight years, and that's just a disaster. Uh, in the environment debate, just hasn't gone anywhere in, in two decades. Well, it's gone worse. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and that's like the last, I, well, I guess at the end of this, eight or nine years, yeah. that it's just been completely squandered yeah, just, in a time where it is really, really critical to do something about the environment. Yeah, spot on. And it's, uh, it actually does really scare me, because this is the thing that, personally, when I figured this out about the Liberal Party, this was the thing that I think uh, completely changed it. It's not so much that they're doing bad things. It's more just the opportunity cost of not having a Labor government in power. Yeah. Just years squandered when but nothing that's right. happens. And nations, if you fall off the pace, you don't get that time back. No, I mean, what's what... insane is you guys had 10 years in the 80s or whatever it was. Yeah. And pretty much they've just been riding off the coattail since. Spot on. Isn't that insane? Yes. Ten years of Labor government keeps the country going with 30 years of the Liberals after it. I mean, what they say is um, they've changed uh, security legislation 16 times. Well, that's great. But, you know, <laughs> that's not what you, you know... Well, that's fine, but... That's a reason to be that's a government, is it? Yeah. Like, it's basically changing more security code. It's, um... So, when we look at what we should do, like, when I think about my kids or I think about young people today, they're getting a rawer deal than ever. You've got to pay more to go to uni. Your TAFE funding's been cut. They don't properly fund schools according to need. They've cut the penalty rates, which a lot of young people depend upon. Uh, harder than ever to buy your first house. And by the way, we'll, we'll send you the, um, the invoice for fixing climate change in the future. Wow. <laughs> what a deal. Super, thank you.